Hey, all right. This is episode three of Backport Stories. My name's George. I'll be your host. My co-host right on that side. Checking a beer right now, Mr. J.R. Riojas. J.R., how you doing? Doing all right. Uh, I know we're not supposed to acknowledge the producers because they're producers and whatever. Uh, Mr. Uh, Big Mac, Fred. What up? Fred, there you go. And he is super sad. Yeah, uh, my name is George, and you can find me at Snapchat, J-L-V-Z, J-A-L-V-Z, 02. Same thing on Twitter, J-A-L-V-Z, uh, 02. Find us on Facebook, at Laredo Funny. Use the hashtag Laredo Funny. And uh, if you want to if you want to email us, or, uh, reach us, contact us, whatever, you can do it through that. You want to be old school and uh, go with uh, email. Who does that anymore? Backportstories956 at gmail.com. Uh, this is a production of Laredo Funny. Uh, got a great episode today. We got uh, two great guests that are hilarious, and one of them you can see right there smiling at the camera. She's been super hyped up and super peppy since <laughs> since she took her Uber on the way here. <laughs> the little droids in the back seat too. Right? Nice. <laughs> uh, real quick before we get started, though, I, we, I, we're going to talk about what's going on uh, in the scene, in the comedy scene here in Laredo, because there is a comedy scene. We're, we're, we're trying to grow it, and... Um, you know, it's working a little bit. Um, let's see. We did the uh, the show at uh, Cold Brew. That was Wednesday night and a little rough, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, you were there? It was a little somberish. That's a good word. Yeah, it was a little somber. Um, we did our best. A couple of guys did really crush. I, I yeah. will give props to Mr. Big Mac over here. He fucking Thank killed you, it that yeah. night. Um no, I knew it was going to be a rough night when I walked inside. We're, we're hanging on the back. We're sitting in the lineup. I walk inside, and I'm hosting the event. I walk in, and there's a group of people that are there, you know, for the somber reasons. And it was probably about six or seven of them standing in a circle. Four of them are crying. And I'm like, this is not going to go well. <laughs> this is not going to be good. Let's just fucking truck through it and make it work. And it did not work. That being said, great fucking show. We raised some good money for a good, you know, a good cause, and uh, thank you for Colbert for having us there Wednesday night. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, the audience is. Oh, the audience. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Colbert, for having us there. Uh, big thanks to Sylvia. Big thanks to Mario. Hey, really appreciate it, and uh, thanks for giving us the stage You're doing to perform. Doing a circle on. jerk in the back. They are. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> now that's an audience. <laughs> And to see that, <laughs> tune into episode four of Backboard Stories. <laughs> Another thing I want to go ahead and plug real quick is our, our, our lovely producer, Fred, over here, who, who you can't see on camera, but you can hear him. Fred, say hello. How's it going? Uh, Mr. Big Mac has got two gigs I want to plug. Uh, McAllen. If you're in McAllen, Cena El Rey, July 5th. That's uh, this Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes, uh, Tuesday night, July 5th, Cena El Rey. Uh, Mr. Big Mac Fred's going to be out there. He'll also be in Corpus on the 7th, which will be Thursday. I'm, yes, trying to, I'm trying to math right now. Yes, sir. July 7th, Corpus. He'll be at Chuckles. Go ahead and check those shows out and give some love to our, our producer, Big Mac Fred. Thanks, um, sir. All day, every day. <laughs> no, he loves, he loves Whopper. It's cannibal as fuck, dude. You should call you Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> Burger King would sue me. They hate Mexicans. Another thing I'm going to plug real quick, guys. Uh, July 21st, On the Rocks Tavern, historic downtown Laredo. First time we're doing comedy downtown. I love uh, it. Laredo on it's a great mm -hmm. it's a great venue. I love getting drunk. Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah. Uh, yeah, July 21st, right. uh, On the Rock Comedy Arthur. Night. Yeah, comedy <laughs> night. Yeah, throw us some money, guys. Comedy Night at On the Rocks Tavern, July 21st. It'll be our headliner, Aaron Suarez, myself. I'll be out there. Uh, Steven Sosa, Steven. <laughs> yes. Steven will be out there, uh, Mr. Robert Tercero, Big Mac will be out there. JR, are you doing a set? Yeah. You're not doing a set? You're yes, doing a I set. Okay. Set. And uh, our second guest, Adrian Martinez, he's also going to be out there. So, big night, uh, great comedy show, no cover charge, you cheap asses. It's no, you don't it's pay. Free. It's free. It's free. Gratis. Get off your lazy asses <laughs> and go see a comedy show. Laugh yeah. your asses off for free. You can get more information, LaredoDowntown.com. Uh, for all the downtown events, go ahead and check that out. Uh, you've been you've, you've seen her. She's been chiming in already so oh. far. <laughs> it's like where have they where seen me? Have they uh, seen me? Bring <laughs> Our first guest today, the lovely and talented Miss Tanya Michaels. Welcome to Back Court Stories. Thank you. Everybody now some some people may know you. Yeah, they may know me. They know my my voice. 
how do they know your voice? I'm not in Finding a voice Nemo? in your head. Oh, I thought you were going to say something like a sex <laughs> hotline or something. like 1-800. 69 Are you going to pay for this social security number and can text, baby? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> I did a little radio in my face. A little, a, a little, you, you, you bounced around. Yeah, you got, you got a lot of experience under your belt. Yeah. Where, where, where have we heard you before? Uh, I started in 2004 at, um, at Little Six Dot One for like three and a half years. Then I worked in Austin, like Digital. Did all, my whole little rounds over there in Austin. That was a lot of fun. But man, I got some great stories. I got to hang out with Little Thol. That was fun. I still have the drum head that they signed for me. Nice. I was playing like ping pong with Mickey. Like he was like, "Hey, you want to play ping pong?" I was like, "Oh, all right, sure." You know, between breaks, I'm drinking some beers. Um, and then I got my degree at TAMU for communications. Anyone hiring? Let me know. Say habla español. I think Fred is hiring. <laughs> you are not getting a job off of this podcast. <laughs> That's a guarantee. What the fuck? <laughs> you pay you in I have a degree. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna and hire people without degrees. Oh, and I worked at 98.1 yes. country, so that's why you Big buck country. country. Okay. Big and country. and where can people find you on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook? Whoa, like where, uh, where are you at? Snapchat, Miss Tanya Love. Uh, my Instagram's Miss Tanya T Love 13, and my Facebook is just Tanya Mike. Nice. Okay. For and all you stalkers out there that want to go and like whack off to my pictures. Now I'm I'm looking at my <laughs> notes here. Channels. And I'm reading educated <laughs> musician, inked up, and sane. Does that describe you or the type of guy you're looking for? Actually, I was. <laughs> that was supposed to be the type of guy I was looking for. Um, I do see 6'4 here. You, yeah. You're looking for a tall guy. Yeah, I'm looking for someone that can read shit for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm short. I'm like 5'3. Like any Mexican woman here in Laredo. Um, but yeah, I'm the same. I'm educated. I'm educated. <laughs> She's like Kevin Hart size. Yeah, Kevin Hart. She wants somebody to pick her up and like, see that's hey, yeah. Simba. See, the, 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 I cook. I cook. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, this is not a dating site. This is a podcast. Oh, like. oh I thought it was. A, oh. Swipe right. <laughs> Swipe right. Swipe left. <laughs> see the good thing about like. Uh, be in a relationship with someone that small is like my like like my ex wife was like literally f- five feet tall five one five two may I don't know how tall she was I wonder why she's my ex wife I didn't notice shit about her but was she with Susan <laughs> like, Susan fucking <laughs> Susan when she would piss me off I would just pick her up and put her places she'd be talking and I'm like I'm done hearing this and I would pick her up and just sit her on the counter she's like why am I sitting on the counter I'll be stay there like that's yeah. it that was it you're in time out, out. <laughs> you're in time out <laughs> like I'm putting you on the step stay stay you stay right there little pussy now real quick I will say this and I'm gonna interrupt you know it's totally unprofessional of me but I will do it Fred how are we doing on time man I didn't even start the fucking the time we're eight right? minutes in we're eight minutes in. Yeah, Perfect. Got, That's all I need to know, man. All right, cool. Give me like a signal or something. We'll See, do, that's, that's what happens when I'm thinking. It was, it was most tw- relationships. Like eight oh minutes. Go. That I'm eight minutes in. <laughs> Time to go. Look. Yeah, that's it. You're done. <laughs> now, one reason I want to have Tanya on is one, she's got a really bubbly personality. I love. We've we've known each other for 15, 16 Wait. years, going back you to high school now. Like me. Oh. 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 I was, let's build into okay, so we were in high school. I was. I was. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Oh, I remember that. All right, I all right. Remember and this. that's all what? for our first <laughs> guest. <laughs> yeah. It's been a pleasure having you. He <laughs> <laughs> just comes a little hope. Just yeah. <laughs> no. no, no, we've known each other probably what? At I was a freshman. High school. In you're looking. You were talking. You, well, what, I was maybe 16. We're talking 16 years now. I've known you. Yeah. That's Holy a long shit. fucking time. That is a long time. What's my favorite color? X Y X Y material, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect, <Dang> cool. Susan, <laughs> which size of shoe do I wear? Uh, uh, little, yeah, small, little. something <laughs> small, right? That's the right yeah. answer. That's what every guy should say. Fucking number here. Something small. Say seven, seven and a half. That's the norm. I was gonna think like five or six. Hey, write that down. Just Dude, give me I, your I should write this down. I should fucking. I'm sitting here with a fucking sharpie in my hand. I need to be taking notes on this. this yeah, they just give me dating advice right now. The next time around. I am. I'm giving you special advice. Thank you. Um, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you probably in about a year Always or so. Like me. it's. 
And uh, every time we get together, uh, a lot of this happens. So, um, yeah. Tanya, well, you, they're cheers. not going to be able to see it, but cheers. Here, cheers. thank you, sweetie. Cheers to 16 years. They just snubbed you. <laughs> <laughs> no, they fucked the code. <laughs> hey, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I don't think Well, that's no, that's JR, I didn't like you in high school. Fuck <laughs> you, dude. Yeah, like, yeah, you were I didn't awesome. crush on you till this year, man. <laughs> I, I, oh, I, he I, doesn't I, like you now. I'm already in the real world when you're still in high school. He doesn't even like that you're his neighbor. I don't know. Another reason I want to have you on is because you've got some fucking crazy stories going on. You, you, I, you auditioned for The Voice? I, I auditioned for The Voice, but ironically that has nothing to do with The Voice audition. It, it was just like going to Houston, driving those fucking four hours, four and a half hours of, um, man, fucking Houston is huge, first of all, and that fucking traffic, kill me now. Like, people need yeah, to fix no, those yeah, yeah. roads already. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck? No wonder fucking people are having fucking accidents every fucking five minutes. <laughs> wow, that was like seven. On purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was like, like what seven fuck? fucks and three seconds. <laughs> <No. laughs> a bunch of insurance scams going on up there. <laughs> You're Everybody gets out with a, a neck brace they put on. Hey, you hit me, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so, really? You were behind me. <laughs> I go to Houston. Yes. <laughs> I go to Houston and I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to go try out for the voice. I'm going to see what this whole fucking battle is about, right? Wasting my time. I'm there for like fucking six hours. I sing my two songs. So they wanted me. What'd to you sing? Um, Fleetwood Mac. Which one? Um, I love Fleetwood Mac. I, I sing one slide and then drink. That's a good song. Oh, there yeah. you go. Okay. All yeah. right. I sing. I cook. I clean. <laughs> <laughs> I sing. Se habla español. <laughs> and I'll talk dirty to you. I'll send you dirty. For you, Ooh, male. Oh, nice. On Snapchat. You oh, snap. We have views <laughs> already. We have a caller coming in already. All right. Who is this? Uh, is this my ex husband? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 You know, after the voice, I was like, okay, cool, whatever. So I'm hanging out with my best guy, my gay guy friends over there, and they're awesome. James Shout out to the gays. What's yes, up, gays? Yes, love the gays. <laughs> I love the gays. And then when the, oh my God, when like the cutest, and I'm looking at the camera, because like there are some gay guys that I'm like, what the fuck are you gay? Oh, you haven't been fucked by the right woman. Oh. oh. Let me bring you back from the dark side. Oh, I know, all right, come here. That was uh, the creepiest thing. I can do exactly what he does. No, that was uh, weird because that was one of the creepiest <laughs> and the most seductive, sexiest thing I've ever seen. At the same time, I'm fucking like I'm I'm weirded out like it's, uh, yeah. and curiously aroused at the same time right now. It was like what, if Jared Fogel met Janet Jackson. Where is it going? All these thoughts are going through my head. No, that makes me sound like I'm, I'm not even going to go there. Like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, like 14-year-old Tanya? That's what I, no, 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 no. We're not going there. That's how long you like me for. Anyways, <laughs> put it on the spot. So we, we decided to go out to a couple gay clubs, and I'm like, look, dude, they nobody fucking turned their chair. I like it. I got all of this shit. It's fucking rigged. I'm on the Wait, phone. What do you mean no one turned their chair? No one turned their chair. I don't know what that means. Okay, when you go into the audience, hit the button or something. No, 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 no. It, it's I, that's all like TV. Oh, For okay. someone that's worked in TV, I kind of knew what to expect. I'm the only person that stayed. I went to go turn in my resume. Okay, <laughs> I went to go try to look for a job. So I, I clipped my resume on right. to the like you know the little audition sheet, and I kept asking everyone. I was like, has anybody ever done this before? And they're like, no. And I'm like, of all the years of people coming to audition. Oh, we're thing. talking about the audition. I thought the we were voice. talking about the gay club already. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean no one turned their chair at the gay club? I'm not sure what that means. Like, enthusiastic for that. Like, I can't oh, wait to get to the gay club. Horse. Like, I didn't know yeah, she was, was still like, on the oh, audition. Shit. My bad. I'm so sorry. George, let's go straight into that. Come I was on. like, oh, that's the thing that they do in gay clubs. They turn the chair. I don't know if that's lingo that I don't know. Like, <laughs> Yeah, they turn the chair, bro. Like, right? Like, it's like they're, oh, they're gay. They see a, a pretty girl, and then they turn the chair. And I'm like, is that like... Is that like flip flops in or your life? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're still at the audition. Like, re rewind, thank you. Okay, let's reset. You're at the audition. I was yeah. already in the gay club. <laughs> That's a weird <laughs> sentence. Never thought I'd say that one. We have <laughs> I actually have a story about that. <laughs> okay, that's funny. I think her time's gonna go really long. <laughs> no, go ahead. All You're right, good. You're good, sweetie. Okay. So, um, so no one turns their chair, 
call my friend Steven and I was like, y'all need to come pick me up. Like I'm in the bathroom. I'm talking shit about the show and I'm singing at the same time. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, the acoustics are really good here in the bath restroom. I thought nobody was in the restroom. Okay. I did not check under the fucking stalls like so, I usually do. So you're do. singing and talking and I'm shit. I'm talking but... shit about the audition process. Like, dude, everybody knows this fucking ring. They looked up the people on online. They try to get people that have been in bands before. Uh, uh-huh. Like, well, Cassidy Pope, she was in that band. Uh, something Monday, whatever. Anyways, um, and people like that. So I'm talking shit, and all of a sudden I hear, like, the, the flush. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, I'm, and I'm like, I'm like, a la madre, está alguien aquí. And my friend, <laughs> and my, like, I know I, Spanish, I, no, 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 and my friend's like, Tanya, I don't speak Spanish. And I was like, chinga, dude, you're one of those fake Hispanics. <laughs> <laughs> you're not real. <laughs> you're dude, not Tanya people. was under pressure at that point. She was like one of those Navajo code talkers in World War II. There's bombs fucking, <laughs> fa- oh, literally, oh, bombs oh, are dropping, yeah. and she's trying to fucking speak in tongues. <laughs> flush. Was it a curse flush or was it a final flush? <laughs> It was a good flush. Okay, so this woman, a producer from The Voice, walks out. Oh, shit! She's got, the, she's got the tag and she's looking at me oh, and smiling. And then I'm fuck. just looking at her I'm on the phone. And I'm like, yeah, well, I'm not going to cry about it. Like, I'm educated. Like, like most of these people put all their hopes into yeah. uh-huh. <clears throat> making it big. And it's like, dude, some of you aren't going to Some of you aren't. Don't go crying to your mom. Okay. Some of you are going to be... Famous. Yeah. Some of you are gonna be in a podcast on a back porch <laughs> <laughs> in about three weeks. And some of you are gonna do porn. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. How did you? Did you see it? Yeah. 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 Did you see it? It's a really good one. It was called the little itty bitty what? <laughs> <laughs> Teeny weeny. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. Ah. <laughs> okay. Um. So anyway, so they pick me up. We we decided to go to a couple of gay clubs, and they take me to this one gay club, and we're 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 like going around the Montrose. Mm-hmm. Montrose. It's like in Houston, it's this whole area of just gay, just gay clubs, the Montrose. So it's like bar hopping, kind of like Sixth Street. But gay. Yeah. All gay. It's like Super Street. flamboyant. It's like, yeah. Four Street. <laughs> it's like Four Street in Austin. <laughs> like Great Street, right? And, and um, so we're, you know, bar hopping, and then they take me to this to this uh, bar, and they're like, hey, Tony, like one of our friends, Shelly. Shout out, Shelly! What's up, Shelly? She, she wants yeah. to visit Laredo, and I'm like, you want to come visit Laredo? Oh, she met Charlie. I know. Charlie, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, she she met him in Houston because he went to Houston, and she's like at the gay club. <laughs> hey. Breaking uh, news! Watch Breaking <laughs> news <laughs> on back porch stories. Charlie, rumors. don't sue me, please. No. I'll end this podcast right now. I love that. <laughs> you know he's doing. Fred saw dollar job. signs in his head. Fuck this. Well, she met him at a comic con, and. Huh? and on her Facebook, and I commented like, "Hey, well, he's gonna play La Barbie yeah. from Lorraine." Like, yes, yo, no, absolutely. Yeah. Piss him off now. So, so then yo, he's, he's got backup, dude. Yeah, he's yeah. learning that shit now. Yeah, dude, that guy doesn't play La Barbie, so he's got a lot of shit to kill him to do. <laughs> <laughs> that is we, we, don't, we don't want to be it's part of that research. So true. All right, we'll just no. stop that yeah. joke right there. Um, <laughs> so, getting back to the game. Yeah. <laughs> So, so um, she ends up telling me that he when uh, people are like, oh, I'm from Laredo, I'm from Laredo. And she's like, every time someone said they were from Laredo, he would stop and have like a fucking 10 minute conversation with them. Say, That's oh, research. He's a method yeah. actor. There and you he, go. And he comes all the time. And I was like, huh? I, was yeah. like at, I want him to well, come. Wait, at the, I hope he comes all the time. Oh, okay. well, all right. At the gay club? <laughs> Not at the gay club. I let you into it. Fred's <laughs> like, you fucking lawsuits right here. Dude. Fred's sweating. <laughs> so much money. We're going to have to put a disclaimer at the beginning of this. He's like, like this is the last something. time we're going to have time ever on So we're not posting this one. <laughs> <laughs> like most of my relationships. <laughs> like, I'm not posting this one. I'm not taking you serious. <laughs> I ain't tagging you anywhere. I'm just tagging the food. <laughs> Oh, you're that type of girl. Takes I'm a picture of everything drink. else except the person. Except that the took guy, you. yeah. Because really oh, like, yeah, no. yeah. at the end of the night, he, he wants the dessert. He wants to play tic tac toe. Oh. Uh-huh. He wants to put his tic in my toe. Ah. Okay. Jeez, <laughs> that's weird. That's, I haven't heard really that position. Weird. That sounds really <laughs> that sounds kinky. Really the, the okay, so let's right. go back to the gay club. <laughs> let's go. We always get sidetracked. Let's go. Let's go back to the gay club. Okay, so we're at the gay club, and then, um, you know, they have, like, these dominatrix, like, X's like this. I don't know if you know how an X looks. Oh, the, like, the, if you get like up, the, the, I can those demonstrate. Wooden things, those wooden yeah, guys things, yeah. are like, yeah. you know. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. The dudes. Yeah, 
It's so a weird hand gesture. Shelly, they strap in no, the dudes. Strap in the, the dudes like that. And um, Shelly, she happens to really like, I mean, she she does this stuff. She's oh. really in a dominatrix. dominatrix stuff, yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. She's a black girl, by the way. Not that I have anything against black girls, but she's No one said you did. Oh, I mean, because I said black. So there's going to be someone out there who's going to be like, you should have said African American. Oh, man. Fuck that person. All right. I'm just going to say that. Yeah. We're all fucking. Yeah, fuck we you, all Susan. bleed red. Yeah. Yeah. Once a month. Once a month. Oh, no, no, no. When you cut us, like. <laughs> go, Fred. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. And I still don't die, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's inhuman. <laughs> Her superpowers. They're called boots. <laughs> That, those are guys They'll get you anything. I know. Guys They'll tonight. get you anything. Yeah. They'll get you anything. The guys could be in a bad mood. He's like, here. Yeah. All right. He's like, oh, yeah, we're good. Oh my god, now. we have ADD. I love better Okay. <laughs> a little bit. Let's steer back. Okay. Gay club. This is your so job. So I tie right up here. this dude and pull down his underwear. Wait, did you tie him up and did you do that cowboy thing where like it takes? I was like, yeah. Like, all right. This is all right. Just context. Big bucket. No kidding. <laughs> We're gonna get so sued. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I wish I could talk about this shit on my old radio show. But I it's PG. PG right this is totally not yeah. PG. I know. Okay, so I tie him up, pull down his underwear, and just fucking start smacking him. And then Shelly's like, Hard. How? Wait, what are you, wait, wait, are you wait, smacking wait, him? Um, smacking his ass or smacking the front? No, no, no. Just, you, you, yeah. Are you just uh, punching his dick? Like, yeah, what like, is this? Like, yeah, oh, you, know, like you like it's that? It's with uh, like a whip. The whip. I prefer and the fist. Like Jesus it. Christ. There's guys out there that like that kind of pain. And, it, and at the moment, I really needed to hit somebody because I was so fucking pissed off. And I was like, motherfucker, I fucking wasted a whole goddamn fucking day trying out for the fucking boys. I love that out when you already know who you're going to pick. And then the fucking producer's in the restroom looking at me and I'm like, I'm taking a shit. <laughs> taking a yeah, shit. Yeah. I was like, I was like, huele mal. <laughs> <laughs> That's not well, normal. Well, then first, you know, like, <laughs> all that shit. Poo-pourri. Like, be considerate. <laughs> the poopery. So I start hitting the dudes with the whip, and then all of a sudden, the next guy wants to come up and get hit, and I was like... Oh, what the I was fuck? Just, Where were you hitting them? Um, in the back, and the shoulders, and the butt. Oh, okay. I thought you were hitting them in yeah. the dick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Do you want me to hit you in the dick? <laughs> no, no, I don't. That sounds <laughs> fucking know, gruesome. That, 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 like, I don't know. That's coming out of your mind. See, the whole time she's like, it, guys like that. I was like, what now, guy? Wait, this is Houston. Are these black guys or white guys? Both. Oh, this oh my is God, so- there was this dude. And Kunta I was like. Kinte. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, was like it was like the scene Kunta from Kinte, Roots. yeah. It was, was like, like, I was like was, it wasn't so much sexual as just reenacting a yeah. great miniseries, dude. Like, what? There you go. What? Kunta Kinte? You don't? Know, Roots? No? I thought oh, you were educated. No, 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 that's all we need to do. That's, yeah, that's all yeah, we need to say. Let's right. not elaborate on that. Yeah. Just, just hitting people. Racism. Uh, Fred's going there, lawsuit number yeah, three. Like. He's like, I like this girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so I'm hitting them. I'm like, oh, I fucking hate this. Girl. How hard are you hitting them? Oh, dude, they're like red. And they are they bleeding? Like, no, no, no. They're getting like red in chows. Like in chows. And I'm like, harder? And they're like, harder? And I'm like, y'all fucking freaks, man. Okay, I'm pissed off. I know. At first, out. she's a little bit scared, and then yeah. she obliges. She's like, well, yeah, fuck right, it. Right. That's what you want. She had, like, she had to relax and loosen up a little bit. I'm whatever. Yeah, cut loose, she right? Had, I'm she had to warm up the shoulder those first few times, and then she's just like, there, So there's this dude, and he has a full-on beard. It's kind of my height, and I was like, hmm. And he's taking <laughs> pictures of, like, you know, because I was at a, gay, at a gay club. And then later on, I kind of checked him out. I was like, hmm. I was like, well, wait. Couldn't there have been a girl? Who was a girl? Oh. Nice. With a beard. I, yes, like, like you know, whole, like biker type beard. Yeah, which is a hot topic. Yeah. That's yeah. Hot. Real quick, what bathroom did he? <laughs> <laughs> did he go to a Target? I followed him, and he was like, <laughs> like Pat. <laughs> Which, by the way, I dressed Halloween up for Halloween. Yeah, I, I remember was, that. I, I remember that. for Halloween, and I, every time I had to go to the restroom, I would just stop. And I would walk out, and people were just laughing because the, the older crowd were like, ha, ha, ha. And I was like, no, we're really going to go to the restroom. Like, <laughs> like, Should I go to the boys? Should I go to the girl? I don't somewhere. know. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I had a great time. There was a lot of, like, dominatrix shit going on. Oh, my God. I hope my mom doesn't see this because she's going to be like, estas loca, Tania. Estas loca. <laughs> I 
What else? Well, no, because you you mentioned your you mentioned your Mexican mom, but you had told me earlier about a podcast. Oh, you I did, did. In Austin. I, I did do a podcast in Austin. Um, I did like maybe like two or three shows, but the first one was amazing. Staying on the topic of trannies. For once, JR is speechless. <laughs> Normally, this guy's chiming in with shit gender. left and right, and right now he has no idea like, what to say. Like, I got material. I like, I'm just waiting on stuff. <laughs> I'm waiting on a lot of things. Too. I'm waiting for a good, respectful guy. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be like dead. Okay, no, no collars yet. No, no collars. Call one eight hundred. Okay, so. Uh, shout out to Cody Blue who gave me a chance to be on his podcast, Ultimate Local Music. What's up, Cody Blue? What's up, Cody Blue? Give Give me boy Blue. <laughs> don't do that. You don't okay, so that. Cody Blue who? <laughs> That's so <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we still talking about the gay club? <laughs> Sorry, Cody. I don't know. You set it up. I, I don't know down. you, but that joke was too easy. That was a fucking soft <laughs> exactly. I had to exactly. go there, man. Wait, wait, wait. it's because I got him so drunk. The first podcast, like, I was like, dude, I can drink, dude. He didn't know me really well, you know. And I was like, poor vato. Yeah, no poor guy. Shit. No, no me conoce. Um, and fuck you, Cody, for saying that I sound like a, a hood chick. <laughs> He's like, if I didn't know how you look like and you're just speaking, I would have thought like you were brown with the sharp yeah. like, like, that, that, like, that, that wave of like, <laughs> <laughs> like, no. no, don't do that. You're going out tonight. <laughs> Maybe I'll get some. So the Laredo guy's like, right? What the fuck? Is I oh, shit. Eyebrows on fleek. Okay, so I get him so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I get him so fucked up, and I'm like, Cody, I don't know. I'm like, Cody, um, like, have you ever had anyone pee on you? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, no, I, I just pee on myself. I'm really drunk. <laughs> 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 just me. Just, just me. I just, just me. <laughs> it was in reference to this story about this woman that had stolen, like, Thousands and thousands of dollars worth oh, of pee. jeans. Oh, of no. <laughs> oh, pee. I was like, oh, pee. Just, you know, clean pee to sell to people that need a I could work. That's a money yeah. maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, okay. 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 Yeah. So we're not posting this fight. Fred's <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, this is the last book. I lost all my jobs for this bitch. <laughs> Fucking bitch owes me money. <laughs> okay, wait. Real quick, I'm going to take a poll here. Who here has been peed on? Like on purpose? <laughs> yes. <laughs> By I, accident? Cause like, I, yeah, I've had my like baby niece pee on me. Well, you've like, never had a chick be like, oh, like, 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 like ba- babies don't count. No, like I, adult. Are you serious? I'm the only one. Fuck done, you yeah. guys. Like, <clears throat> I, 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 members of the audience, have you been peed on? He's uh, like, no, but it sounds like. Something <laughs> it sounds like one of the two. It's really warm. It's like, it's like how, uh, how drunk do you have to get her to do that? Okay, Who? So oh, I her? Don? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> There's more beer. Beer, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Beer, bitch. Open your mouth. <laughs> oh, we're not for, in Houston. Anymore. For the <laughs> beer. <laughs> you're going to get drunk off my pee. Open, yeah, I was just like, <laughs> open your mouth for what? Beer or piss? Which one? Like... Or both, you never know. A little bit of both, yeah. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm dripping and sipping. It's all good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like one for I the like homies. a guy that can multitask. <laughs> <laughs> Bob! Bob, be quiet. We're doing a podcast. Oh, shut the fuck up. Hey, Bob, Jesus, go wrestle. <laughs> go wrestle. Okay. Go wrestle. Go wrestle. I'm a promoter, you asshole. So, so okay. he tells me, he, Cody Blue, by the way, Cody, um, he tells me, yeah, you know what, I actually had a... Oh, well, the, the story was in reference to this woman stealing a, pair, a lot of jeans and mm-hmm. then peeing on the jeans. Why? I don't know. It's so she Florida. didn't have to return Florida. it? Florida. That's all I gotta say. No, no, Florida. you're right. Absolutely. Florida. No, you said Florida. It's completely Florida. fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Florida in Florida, and I was like, those... Uh, yeah, come on Well, it's because, you know, a lot of times it just depends on the person. It depends. There's a lot of old people there. Yeah, it depends. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have her depends that day. Uh, all right, didn't work. We'll scratch that one. Yeah, we'll scratch, scratch that one. Edit that one out. We'll pretend it didn't happen. All right. JR's fire. Just, like <laughs> just like my last relationship. <laughs> so we'll pretend, pretend it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Sorry. 
Anyways, um, so, <clears throat> so he tells me, yeah, I was in, I was in a club one time, and um, and I'm like, seriously, seriously, one time. <laughs> Uh, this one time, and he's like, I was dancing with this chick, we're getting real good, she sits on my lap, and all of a sudden, I feel something warm. <laughs> and she peed on me, she got up, and she, she was like just, marking her territory. Yeah, yeah she was like, I like this one, this one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I felt something warm, it was piss, I knew it wasn't mine. Yeah, he, he, yeah, pretty much, that's how the story goes. And there was another story regarding Caitlyn Jenner, because Caitlyn, you know, She peed on him too? <laughs> In the bathroom? Was she standing or sitting when she did that? Yeah. Which bathroom was she? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> we still don't know which one she's gonna go into. I don't think she yeah. knows. Yeah, that's why I call her Brucelyn right now. You know, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> she's still trying to use the magic eight ball. Which one should I do? And she's just saying, like shake man, again. She's like, man, I feel like a woman. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Big butt country. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Let's add Shania Twain to the lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, friends just making friends a like, list of like, okay, we got to get this one. Yeah. This one's going to suit. This Michael's, one's going to suit. This one's going to suit. I love me. Did you say I love vagina or I love vagina? I love, well, you could say Tony Michael's I love vagina. Don't you? Uh, <laughs> Breaking news here on Backboard <laughs> Stories. Guys. Fred likes girls. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. He's like, yes, I do. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> He's not like the security guy at Orange is the New Black, the one with the beard. Does anyone watch that? Or no. is it just me? Yeah. It's a chick thing? It's a chick thing. Yeah, yeah so. it's a chick thing. It's like when a guy says he likes the voice. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? He's, he's, he's either gay or trying to hook up with the pretty girl yeah. sitting next to him. Dude. That's exactly what's going on. He's like, he's like I him. love a season four. <laughs> but I'm totally a masculine guy. Check out my dad jeans. <laughs> Should we just say that C word with, you know, the cell phone company, or do we not want to get sued by them too? Like, I could have sworn you were gonna say cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 well, we're not, we're not there yet. Hold on, hold on there. Wait, are you getting that good sign? <laughs> Wait, are you getting I'm still looking. I'm not I was gonna say something, but I'm still refraining from not saying anything. I'm not right adding there. you to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> that means we're not friends in real life. I'm gonna um, move so I, I will say this real quick, and we'll just wrap it up by saying, but you, you. Wait, Cody made out with the tranny. I mean, <laughs> transgender. Oh, she wasn't being <laughs> subtle was about that the at one all. That peed on him? No, it was a different oh, one. Different no. time they peed on yeah. him. No, no. Oh, okay. You <laughs> can't. Love with the man. <laughs> you okay. can't jump in all over the place. You can't just throw I'm that like, oh yeah, we're talking. Ha, ha. Oh yeah, he made out with the tranny. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, thank you for it. Thank you. That's my time. Good night. <laughs> Whoa, I love, I whoa. love, I love their chemistry. I want to pitch a sitcom with the two of them, like sharing an apartment in a bakery. Or it's something, got, a, it's got a name. Like, I don't want to be your neighbor, George. She's like, it, it, like, it, I can fucking hear you pee. It's got a working title since she's thirty. I it's Granny and Tranny. Granny and Tranny. <laughs> 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 That's so wrong. Coming soon to Netflix. <laughs> Granny and Tranny over here. Fuck. Wait, are you the Granny? Uh, are you the Tranny? Well, I'm the older <laughs> one. I don't know. <laughs> uh, are we talking Wait, about? Wait, so Cody tells me, he's like, you know, sub subject of Caitlyn Jenner, da 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 da, and I ask him, well, have you ever made out with a transgender? And he's like, there was this one time. I made out with a. <laughs> Dude, that joke is like so old, hey. like you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> so <worse. laughs> Reasons I know you're a dad. He's a young 39, all right? He's a young 39 years old. He's a young 39 years old? 39? Oh. He's like 45. Like, really? What? He's close. What kind of creepy he is? <laughs> <laughs> is it called sperm? No. Uh, <laughs> it's oh. called tranny pee. Tranny pee. Tranny pee. Yes. <laughs> tranny pee. So pretty much Cody's like, yeah, I made out with this <clears throat> really hot chick. And at the time I was single, da 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 da, or like he had an open marriage, some you know, swingers, whatever, I don't know what the fuck. And um, he's like, yeah, but then whispers in, she whispers in his ear and is like, 
um, the only thing, yeah, I'll join you and your other partner, um, but I have a dick. Like, so <laughs> they're like, so do we. It's all good. Like, oh, and then at that, that was moment, breaker. he was just like, yep, yeah, yeah, do it. <laughs> what that was like, so you have made out with a man before. Okay. Don't knock it to like try Adam's apple didn't I give love it away. making out with men. I cook. I clean. <laughs> <laughs> and with <Love>. that. <laughs> and with that. Hi, we'll Mom. <laughs> And with that, and we didn't I'm get. I'm going to church tomorrow. I promise. We didn't. I'm even, gonna, uh, I cook. We, I clean mom. We didn't even get to. The crazy mom. Your mom and just be a Mexican mom. <laughs> what the fuck so are you like, gonna say about my mom, George? <laughs> <laughs> no. like, we have to call. Bring her back no. for another episode. Guys, I, I, wow! Thank you, okay. Tanya. Uh, you can find her on Snapchat, Miss Tanya Love. Or right here. Or right there. <laughs> uh, Instagram, Miss T Love thirteen. Facebook, Tanya Michaels. Uh, my love, it was been it's been great having you as a See, guest. See, he said it, my love. Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah! I say that to Jr. Ah! too. <laughs> no, but you should get really drunk. I should. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you, thank you, sweetie, for coming on the podcast you. and doing it. I I love it. It's it's. Thank you so much. Why is he sending me a red? I request? have no idea, but thank you, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Tony Michael. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna say this. That may have been the most offensive 30 minutes of podcast we've ever done. By Holy a girl. Shit. Yeah, by a girl. So let's lighten things up a little bit. Our second guest today. I have no idea where we're gonna go from this because that was some of. The, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Our second guest is is a local comic, and uh, I say local loosely because he he's not he hasn't really been uh, he's he's not here. He's based out of College Station, and um, I'm taking a risk here because he's only done stand up twice. That being said, but he's done good. He's, he's done good. fucking funny. He's got some good material, yeah. and I really want to push this guy because he's really talented, and I believe in him. Ladies and gentlemen, second guest, Mr. Adrian Martinez. What's up, Adrian? Right. What's up, man? Uh, Adrian, you can find him on Facebook at uh, Adrian Martinez. Instagram, Adrian Martinez. Adrian 60, no, not 69, 96 Martinez. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you've seen him around. He's done stand up a couple of times. Tony's looking at his face. Say that for later, sweetie. Um, He's too young. Oh. You're not wrong. You are really young. How old are you? I'm 20. Jesus. Yeah. That is unfathomable. How are you that young? Wait, when were you, when you were born? 96? <laughs> yeah. That's how I'm that young. Yeah. You can math. Yeah. There you go. Dude, you I remember something. 96. I remember the Olympics. <laughs> Carrie Strong with the broken foot. You can do it. I remember fucking, yeah, dude. The fucking gymnast and shit. You weren't even born then. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you you're new to the stand up game. Yeah. I mean we all are, but I mean you you've done it twice. What got you into doing stand up? Yeah, a long ass time ago I saw Dean Cook do it. So like six years ago. <laughs> hey, I'm twenty. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big part of my life already. <laughs> that's a big gap. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that yeah. is. That is a huge time frame. Okay, yeah. Dane Cook. Yeah, that's thirty percent of my life. I can't math. We can't, yeah, we don't math. All right, good well, here. Just trust me now. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I, saw they, I saw they cook. And I was like, shit, that's funny. I want to I wanna do that shit. I, like, my dad tells a lot of jokes, and he's like, the, he's the fucking life of the party, man. Mm-hmm. And uh, last year, Steve-O fucking invited me to do stand-up like, with, with y'all. Mm-hmm. But that's when I went to Texas A&M. Like, I moved for college. And I was like, shit, I didn't get a fucking chance to do you this. You go to A&M? Yes, sir. We can't tell. You can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Indian boxers, but I don't think I want to see that. You can, we can see that too. Don't worry about it. Tiny's looking for a boyfriend. It's all there good. There you go. I don't have my board that. Oh! Oh! Like, yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! That's a mic drop right there. there. All, right. all right. That's been Back Porch Stories. Sorry. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> no, okay. So, so uh, you sorry. Yeah. So, um, Steve invited me to, to do stand-up with you guys, mm-hmm. but then I, I, I moved. So 
So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to miss out on this opportunity. I've been wanting to do this for years. Mm -hmm. So I started writing jokes then. And then as <laughs> shit started happening to me at A&M, I started writing and I started taking it in front of friends and I started arranging it. And it's like, I finally got my shot when I came back. So um, I said, you know what? As long as I'm here and as long as I'm coming back for like, you know, breaks and shit, I'm not going to miss a shot. I'm Absolutely. Gonna no, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. totally a dude. Hey, cheers to that, yeah. man. I know you don't drink because you're 20, but whatever, yeah, man. Cheers for us, man. camera. We don't want to incriminate. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. So, I, wait, but, okay. At the risk of getting you in trouble, you've got some underage drinking stories. Come on. Yeah. This is Laredo. Who doesn't? Yeah. All right, so g give me one. What, like right. what? Like, well, what? What would you normally do? Because I, look. I, 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 first PSA, we do not condone underage drinking. Fuck, I do, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not posting this one. <laughs> No, 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 because, I, and I'll give you an example, because I remember being in high school, and uh, literally, just like the movie Days and Confused, that's what would happen. We oh. would, we would meet up, oh, we would get out of fucking class, school. like, a, yeah, we'd get out of school, they'd like, say, all right, I'm gonna run you through, like, a typical, like, Friday. You'd get out of school, 3.45, by the time you roll out of there, it's about 4.15, and yeah, maybe you're maybe you're smoking a joint in the parking lot, whatever. And you would hang out with your friends, and you'd make plans to meet up at Sonic. Not a sponsor. Fucking give me some money, Sonic. <laughs> Sonic, you meet up at Sonic, and I, we were underage, so we would go and get beer from like. I'm debating on saying names, but as long as we're getting run. sued, a, a, a beer, beer run. run, okay, you know, the, the, a, a beer run of ill repute. They were willing to sell the miners. Those were the and best ones. Absolutely. Yeah. And so you would go out there and you would get like a 12 pack, and they would charge you like 30 bucks for it. But you're underage, so you're like, well, fuck, we're paying the 30. So you'd get a uh, 12 pack, whatever, where your friends pitch in, you get a bunch of beers, you put them in a nice chest, put them in the trunk, and then you would drive to Sonic. <laughs> and you'd park at Sonic, and no one ordered shit. You would just sit there, and other people would meet up. It was like that was like the like the hangout place. You would meet up, you park, pop the trunk, you get a couple of beers, put the trunk down, and you would just fucking pound a couple of beers. And then you'd find out, oh, there's a party at this in this place. Let's go out there. And that was like the pregame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre uh, exactly. Pre -game. No. Sonic was totally the pregame. You'd go there, you'd town two beers, you know. Go out to the party. Party gets raided. No <laughs> surprise. And no. there's and there's people jumping fucking fences and shit. And and the smoothest move was uh, our friend Mark. Shout out. What's up, Mark? Mark would when the cops would show up, he would stand right by the ice chest, <laughs> and the cops would be like, "Let me see your ID." He's like, "I don't have my ID." How old are you? Twenty one. How do I know that? Because if I wasn't twenty one. I wouldn't be standing here right now. Or what do you say? Like, if I wasn't 21, I would have run. But I'm cool. <laughs> I'm 21. I'm standing here with my beer. You just talk with confidence. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the cops would be like, that makes a lot of sense. Like, yeah, if you were underage, you would run. Cops go their separate ways. Mark picks up a fucking ice chest, walks to his fucking Plus, truck. Mark's had a beard for, like, all his life, basically. I think so he was he, born he, with yeah, it. Yeah, he was born with it. I beard. think he was yeah. born with it. He could play it off really well. Yeah. So, but you would do that, and then the party would get raided, you end up right back at Sonic. And then, oh, yeah. With more beard. Not your yeah, beard. No. Other people's beard. Yes, other people's Perfect. beard. I had that, where I had a, a chick come out of a party one time, and, like, her parents came home. Classic scene of an 80s movie. Parents come home, and you're like, oh, my God, like, get out of here. And you would just grab fucking beer, like, she was like, just take all the beer with you. And I'm like, where? She's like, I don't give a fuck, just get it out of here. Boom, we're taking <laughs> off with this shit. So you would take off, you end up with more beer than you ended up with, or you started with at the beginning of the night. So you would end up back at Sonic, and then, oh, okay, same as Days of Confused, beer bust. Let's go on this place. Get over, Should gotta buy him. Did they fucking find out that you're underage drinking here right now? Apparently, thank you. Damn it, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a ghetto lullaby right there. That is a ghetto lullaby. <laughs> no, but, so you would end up, you know, back at Sonic, back in another place, and you just bounce around. So, that was my high school experience. What was yours? Shit. Man, I don't have that much of a crazy story, but I remember one time, you you're know like, what? You're, you're like, we were at Sonic. There was no beer involved, just hot dogs. <laughs> like, <laughs> but you know how you're legally allowed to drink as long as you're, you know, your parents there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well... 
there was a uh, carne asada and my my dad was there mm. and they they found out oh shit this guy plays flamenco guitar let's hire him but we don't have any fucking money let's pay him in beer nice yeah, that's, that's the, the way best kind of payment that's yeah. how they that's how we get paid doing comedy yeah. shit yeah. Dude. <laughs> we're in our 30s um, and tab. still taking that currency right. not all of us. <laughs> mm, you're not getting paid then <laughs> <laughs> and um so they're like here have one have another one have another one have another one and that, I haven't even started playing yet. I haven't even taken oh, my guitar. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, by the time I get my guitar, I remember playing Hotel California, mm-hmm. Bohemian Rhapsody, and then I remember waking up. I have <laughs> no idea what happened afterwards. I just remember my dad walking into my room saying, You I'm played a 40-minute guitar solo last night. <laughs> <laughs> Ad-libbed Freebird for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> he li- literally said... I've never heard you play guitar so well in my life. Oh, I think you're so, so you sloppy. Go. No, like, apparently if you were on, dude, that's yeah. even better. Yeah, it's like, like I'm fucking Peter Griffin, but I'm the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so now you gotta have like drunken recall all the time. Every now and then. There you go. Yeah. No, but you're not a big drinker. Not really. All right. Uh, well, anything else? What like heroin, shrooms? <laughs> <laughs> I went deep on that yeah, shit. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to mention names, but uh, one time they hired me to play bass for one band because they needed a bassist for one night. Okay. And, and they, they paid you in heroin. No, they didn't. <laughs> Making fun of they didn't. Uh, <laughs> um, it was crack. Nah, like, honestly, they were all, all, all they were doing is smoking pot. But I had never really smoked pot, and we were in, like, in a garage. So I hated the fucking smell. Why? Who hates the smell of pot? It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm starting people. to see a pattern here. Underage people <laughs> hate the first. smell of pot. All right, he's about to be kicked out of Laredo Funny. <laughs> I've had it with your PG shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and uh, so I got a headache. I, I was feeling sick. And then after you got high, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you know, like an hour later, I had a college final. Oh shit! Okay. Uh huh. Don't ask me how. I don't remember taking Wait, the test. What time, but was I the, aced what time it. was the test at? I don't remember. <laughs> was it morning or nighttime? If I it was nighttime, time. why is there a final at nighttime? <laughs> if it was morning, what the fuck are you doing smoking weed at 6 a.m.? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, the beauty of the story. I got a fucking a. No one ever plans to get stoned, it just happens. Yeah. I think most people plan it out. I. I'm not incriminating myself. So. <laughs> I played the fifth. Fifth. Okay, so you had a college fight. What what happened? What class was it? It was a uh, was calculus actually. That's some hard shit, shit to do when you're shit. high. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if it was like history or like English storytelling, that yeah. totally easy, yeah. like no problem. But fucking calculus, god it's damn. It's hard over. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, dude. And then what did happened? Or what? Like, no, did you that, pass? Like, I, I, did you I pass? pass. I, I got an A. That's, well, I'm then right. there you go. Fucking, that, yeah, there you go. I'm fucking, not fucking complaining. No, yeah, pot right. advocacy. Every time you take a final, just get high, dude. You'll be fine. You're not dude. nervous. You're just doing what you're doing. We do not wait, condone this was, a, this was back in college? No, this was with the, the dual credit program in high school. Okay, which well, was basically like, like a year and a half yeah, ago, dude. Yeah, but I hadn't left yet. I was still here in Laredo. That was weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it trips me out that you're so young, dude. Like, it trips me out that people say that. <laughs> so, so where do you? I mean, be because this is to, all right. Basically, doing stand up and knowing our age, I say myself and Jr. and Fred and our audience member over here, Mister Mister Aaron. Um. We have a lot of experience and a lot right. of of uh, uh, things to draw from. Right. You know, it's like, oh, well, like, like, all right, it's no secret. I've got two ex-wives. I've got a bad relationship with a recent girlfriend. Um, you know, time in the military. So, yeah. you know, I've got, I've got experiences that I can draw from and go, that's funny, let's talk about that on stage. JR, I know you've been yeah. fucking divorced too. Fuck, man, that's a <laughs> common <laughs> theme. Like, you oh, you just had a baby mama, my bad. Yeah. yeah. But what I'm saying is that all of us have all this experience to draw. It's like we reflect on our time. Yeah, no. It, He's it's, living it right now. I know. So that's, that's awesome. That, 
to me that's amazing yeah. because I think back and I'm like, how can I make that funny? But you're writing shit in the moment, like how the, how does that? What's the process to writing a joke to or what? Like, shit exactly. happens to me that is shit bad to happens. me, but it's funny to everybody fucking else. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I was been playing. I'm talking about this. I was playing. I'm talking about my next show, but might as well just give it a little preview. Uh, one of my girlfriends. I mean, like girlfriends. One of them? How many? One at the same time? Oh, look at that. No, not at the same time. No, not at the same time. Oh. Like, at one time, we did it for like two fucking weeks, right? What do you yeah. mean we did it for two weeks? Here's the reason why. I got you a restraining two order two weeks? On her. Straight? Oh! oh. oh. Yeah! What? There we go. What? what? I got a That's restraining a, order on her. Wait, you told me you didn't have any stories. No. A restraining order on some chick you've been fucking for two weeks? That's a story. Let's hear this. Alright, so... Basically, I was dating someone and I get really fucking hooked. And... On... She, on... On <laughs> what? To her? I was like... You got no. What would you get hooked on? <laughs> Not literally. On phonics. Vagina. <laughs> yeah. Did you get Did you get hooked on phonics? Did you get hooked on her? Did you get hooked on drugs? What? Like when on, you got on hooked her, on her? her. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You say yeah, I got yeah, hooked, yeah. and given the nature of the guests that we've had on this show before, <laughs> my immediate thought is like, Oh my God, what drugs were you doing? That's so sad. <laughs> Quick question: no, was, was that your first fuck chick? I didn't even fuck her. What were you hooked what? on? No, and good thing I didn't. Good thing I didn't. She was fucking psycho. Those were no, the best no, kind. No, good thing I you did. No, I wouldn't didn't. get her. I couldn't get rid of her. That's why I got a restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was she? Was she like climbing through your windows, or what the fuck happened? Like, like the ring she came on the TV. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, like in fucking school. Like she kept like she was a tiny little girl, like four nine, but she kept trying to fucking Hulk. Oh my a four name Yeah, no, she was just like, we're gonna oh, talk about this, and I'm not That's gonna awesome. No, I applaud you for dating a special person who had the strength <laughs> of a Hulk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like we're getting fucking thrown off the air. Uh, <laughs> the only good thing, like, I can say honestly, like, if she was 4'9, at least you could hear her breaking into your house, you'd have to put the step stool down first. <laughs> <laughs> Carry some phone okay, books so, with her. So she was just being nuts. Yeah, because like I just got off a relationship and you know I'm on the rebound and some friends have to slap some sense into me. And I'm like, you know what, you guys are right. So I tried to break it off with her, you know, being nice ish. You can't do that. I, no, like yeah. you can't be nice when breaking it off. Like as much as possible. Yeah, it doesn't, and it doesn't work. She she did not get the message for like a week. You would have slapped some sense in there. <laughs> With a brick. <laughs> <laughs> and the brick said, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Boom. Okay, so so she didn't get... The, she the, you, he, So you hit her with a restraining order. What did she yeah. do that was that bad that you had to go to the police? She just would not get... She not get away from me. Like, I could not go anywhere without her being there. Like... She what a right small town. No, 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 no but... <laughs> Even on my phone, she would start calling me from 3 a.m. to noon. Oh, like, we were in school, and she would still call me, and it's like, do you have shit to do? You know? <laughs> like, study for a test or something. You get wrong. I've seen your grades. You should study. <laughs> I like how to a 20-year-old at the countdown. <laughs> As a 32-year-old, I was thinking, don't you sleep? But to a 20-year-old, it's like, I've seen your grades. Like, <laughs> You're going to get suspended. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. and wait, how, how come you haven't talked about this chick on stage yet? That's a good... You got bits there, man. I still haven't gotten those jokes ready. I didn't start writing that one. I started writing others. <laughs> like, I didn't think about it until you guys were saying how fucked up it is. Like... <laughs> Until I realized I got problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so that happened here in Laredo. Yeah. And then you left for college. Right. Does she still bother you now? That you're you're in College Station. You yeah, go to A and M. Yes, sir. She. She's fuck. How old am I, man? Don't say yes, sir, man. <laughs> fuck. Just call him Pappy. Pappy. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Look who's talking, great grandpappy. Hey, hey. You're like 45 years older than George. Like this All right, right dad here. jeans, whatever, man. Like, okay, so, so you're, so she hasn't bothered you. No, she since. hasn't. I, after I broke up with her, a lot, a decent amount of time passed, and after I, I was able to, you know, not be on the rebound. 
I I found someone and I've been dating for her for almost uh, a year. So nice. Like, okay. Go. Good. Good go. for you, man. I like there that. Yeah. Um, happy ending. So you you went to you went to A and M, right? And I what you've been doing all sorts of crazy stuff there, like um, what are you drinking and partying and streaking and fucking gang bangs, three sounds. Like what have you been up to? Like you know, it sounds like my regular Saturday night, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, Both hands. <laughs> 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 Sorry, sorry. No, I um, <laughs> what do you do up there? Like, what's fun on the Yo, weekends? What's your major? Well, well, right, I'm, I'm studying on. business, but All right. ironically, All right. that's not what I spend my most most of my time on. I uh, I belong to some clubs, and in A and M, there's literally every single club. We even have two Quidditch teams. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, I've heard that word before. Yeah, like from, like I've from heard that word before. Yeah, no, there see, I was going to say, what the fuck is Quidditch, but I think I've heard that. What the fuck? Wait, huh? Yeah. How do you play a fictional game? That's You run, basically, rugby with brooms between your legs. <laughs> so it's like a Mexican cleaning How Saturday. You... <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Made Olympics or something. How do you hold the broom? <laughs> the rich Mexicans have vacuum cleaners instead of brooms. <laughs> <laughs> they have Dyson. They have Dyson. They have Dyson. <laughs> How do you hold the broom? Like with, with one, one hand, hand or just yeah. in between your thighs and no, you just kind of finger that one hand? Like, <laughs> grab it with one hand and get the the volleyball that you score with with the other. <laughs> My God. Do you wear okay, volleyball shorts? <laughs> all right. As as crazy as we've had guests in this episode, yeah. This fascinates me. Wait. <laughs> Huh? What? Like, wait, is it like the movie? You have like the the bigger ball and stuff. Do you actually fly? Do you? It depends on how high you are. (laughs) (laughs) Depends on the number of finals and the number. (laughs) (laughs) How many finals have tomorrow? Six. All right. I'm flying. I'm jumping out the fucking roof. I give a shit, guys. All right. So, are there rules or is like, is it? Tell me, this isn't a league. There's not. Are there are there referees? Their final so there's, super like, there's like a bracketology. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, there's like Marsh Madness, like Quidditch <laughs> Madness or something. Yeah, she draws your bracket for fucking Quidditch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think like, Andrew's like got it this year, man. Like. Yeah, there's like 150 teams in the U.S. alone, and there's like it's all over the world. <laughs> I mean, there's, how there's, long is the season? Hold, 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 <laughs> hold, Jesus. hold on, there's 32 football teams, there's 150 Quidditch teams? Yeah, because there's uh, community teams, there's college teams, some college has, has uh, two. There's a couple of semi-pro teams, <laughs> like, yeah. they got sponsorships and shit, what the Do you f- have cheerleaders? <coughs> I wish. Is Hermione uh, Granger one, because oh, I'm all yeah, about yeah. it. <laughs> Okay, so all right, so there's this big. Is this like like a tournament or what is this like? Yeah, there's more than one tournament depending on the on the league. Like there's a United States uh, league. There's, there's a, international leagues. There's, you got yeah. guys from Cuba there's, coming to play Quidditch or what? Like, <laughs> there's Mexico. Man, those Germany. Dominicans, they really know how to Quidditch the shit out of shit. One hundred and fifty teams. The U.S. <laughs> takes Quidditch more serious than it takes soccer. What the fuck is? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, okay. So in these tour- what do you win? Like, what is, is there a Brandy trophy? Right? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> Hand jobs in the <laughs> parking lot afterwards. Nah, you you, like, you have to read you know, the books. You, know, you win a house elf, dude. It's over. You get a one. You get a one. You get a one. You No, you actually you get a, a trophy, like a cup. What's that? Like, like for McDonald's or? <laughs> 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 You probably would, Big Mac. I'm yeah. down. <laughs> Secretly, I'm a sponsor and yeah. shit. Oh, that's fucking... Wait, that's and, okay, awesome. and are you good at this? Quit it. I, I don't even know the fucking rules. I've been playing for a year. So that means you're good, or you're, like, you're still I mean, working? I'm, I'm still working. There's oh, people right. I've been... There's, there's, the sport's been around for 10 years. What do practice sessions look like? Yeah. People running around with brooms and tackles. <laughs> <laughs> the it's exact like same as the games, yeah, dude. <laughs> but without the jerseys. Just, like, regular T-shirts. What the? Oh, tell me, wait, no, tell me you don't dress up in costumes. No, 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 no. Does no, anyone no. whip their oh. wands out? <laughs> that sounds really gay. That's afterwards. You're really playing Quidditch. Sorry. Oh, you're good, you're good. <laughs> oh my god. So, alright, so there's it's, no costumes. That's actually not the worst roasting I've gotten because of Quidditch. So it's, uh, so it's not, like, there's no costumes. You're not, like, LARPing. No, 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 no. Like, actually, like, 
uniforms like soccer. Okay, have you right. ever done LARPing? No, I haven't. You seem like a guy who has. I'm just. I get that more than you think. <laughs> <laughs> it's because like, I am 20, him. and apparently I'm the biggest dork in the red. Uh, that's what I've done from everybody. Nah, you. <laughs> you don't wear dad jeans, so I think you're all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I laughed, George. No, you, you, uh, you're good, and, and I know we ripped on you for the Quidditch stuff, but that's no, that, you're good. That's that's, that's fucking hilarious, and uh, yeah. you are you're, you're really funny. I, I know, and, and speaking as I'm not a veteran comic or whatever, no, but the shit I've seen you do, it's funny as fuck, dude. Uh, work on it, keep going, dude. Uh, you're going places, and that's one of the reasons I want to have you on this podcast so early is that this guy right here, Adrian Martinez. He's, he's fucking funny. He knows what he's talking about, and he's got great fucking jokes. And, hey, I put my name on it. Um, so thank you for coming out to the thank episode. I, I really, really thank you. And uh, you're going to be with us July 21st, right? Hell yeah, bro. Uh, July 21st, come out and see Adrian Martinez, and uh, that show's going to be... Hey, hey, fucking get in here and fucking, you know, come here and plug the show real quick. Put your face right there and fucking... How's it going, Hollywood? Um, he hears that a lot. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Just get well, oh, yeah. on the show. Um, so July twenty first, uh, downtown Laredo. Make sure you go to the Rocks Tavern on the Rocks Tavern. It's gonna be a free show. Basically, all you have to do is just fucking show up. That's it. It's free. Go and fucking laugh. I'm not charging you for nothing. Just buy some beers. Sit down. Shut the fuck up and hear me. Or, <laughs> or us. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not just that, that's, all, that's that's all it is. You just gotta go and laugh, have a good time with us. You know because um, you know. We, comedy exists under, in our everyday lives. Every day. You know what I mean? So, why not enjoy one that's for free, right? Yep. So, I'll be on the next podcast. Give me a minute. Yeah. All right, no. That guy right there, Mr. Adrian. Hey, uh, Adrian, I don't know. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Aaron Suarez, and he's going to be headlining the next show at uh, On the Rocks Tavern, July 21st, 9 p.m. Absolutely free. Bunch of great comics are going to be on there. Uh, Aaron's going to be on there headlining. I'll be on the show. Adrian Martinez, J.R. Sosa. What the? J.R. Sosa? Fuck I combined them into one person. Now, J.R. Rioja, Steven Sosa, uh, Mr. Big Mac, Mr. Fred. Uh, go out there. It's absolutely no cover charge. Absolutely free. Go and check it out. Uh, great night of comedy. And uh, it's going to be a good show. Uh, real quick, I am going to plug this. Aaron, and I didn't mention up top, but I will say it now, fucking killed it. KGNS on the morning show, and uh, he went out there, he did a few minutes of stand-up comedy, and he plugged the shit out of us, and I'm proud of you, brother. You did fucking, you did great, you killed it. And uh, if you haven't seen it, go to our Facebook page, uh, at Laredo Funny, and there's videos of him doing his, his stuff there on KGNS. and More, uh, more PG than normal, because, of course, you well, know. Yeah, it's which, stand, stand yeah. up comedy at oh, 6 a.m. shit, it would have been even better if we could have done it the same I way. Hope, I hope you guys have a longer podcast than you. I have so much to talk about, and I'm a little, little bit drunk. It would be a great podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you haven't seen the videos of, uh, of Aaron doing uh, his stand-up stuff on uh, KGNS in the morning, go ahead and check it out. Find it on our Facebook page, at Laredo Funny. And uh, if you think we're funny, if you like the videos of uh, myself doing our stand-up sets, our roast stuff, uh, Aaron on KGNS, go on there, like it, share it, tag it, tell your friends. This has been the third episode of Back Porch Stories. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, next show, check it out. We got uh, Woo! Get some wrestling going on. Thank you, Tanya. You still here? She's still yeah. looking for a man. She's still looking for educated. Do you want to plug your shit real quick again? Um, no. <laughs> Last time I did that, I got pregnant. Has to be like four six what or, or six four four one six, four, four six. Four six. Yeah, six. Four six. Four six. Four six. I want someone four six. She's looking for a guy who's looking four six. for a midget. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in for this episode of Back Four Stories, episode three. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at uh, you know just fucking find me George Alvarez, and uh, you can hit me up on Snapchat J A. LVZ02, same thing on Twitter and uh, Facebook at Laredo Funny, hashtag Laredo Funny. Tell your fucking friends, guys. Good night. <laughs>